Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you my top 10 NaNoWriMo hacks. And of course, special guest, right Heather Venkat is Hi. here. Yay, my turn. I'm so glad yes. that you could be here um, to kind of kick off my Preptober NaNoWriMo videos for YouTube. So super, super excited. Mm -hmm. I am so excited to start outlining my NaNoWriMo novel. Um, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Oh yeah. So I've been editing for two years and I am ready to work on something new. Like, I'm super excited. I'm also scared and daunted, but we've got some hacks to help you guys out if you're also on the struggle bus. <laughs> we've got 10 tips to try to help you crush your NaNoWriMo goal and hit those 50,000 words in one month. So let's dive right in. Hack number one is to not write before NaNoWriMo. So this means a couple days before or even the week before NaNoWriMo starts, because I know it starts on a Friday, you want to just kind of recharge and clear your brain and not write. So ideally, you'll have already outlined your novel if you are a plotter or a planter, and if you're a pantser, you're good to go. So just like <laughs> chill that week before so that you can make sure that you're not stressed, you're not already burnt out before NaNoWriMo even starts. So hack number two, um, I, this actually was a tip from the Phoenix NaNoWriMo group uh, last year, but if you're at the very, very end of NaNoWriMo and you're struggling to get the last few hundred words or however much you need, um, one hack is to change all of your contractions to the whole words. So, you know, won't to will not, don't to do not, it does add up and now that's not ideal and when you go and revise you're going to want to change that back but if you really want to try to reach the 50,000 and it's 11.50 p.m. <laughs> you could try to get that. I can attest yeah I did this like throughout the whole manuscript for A Bar Goes Riddle. It was annoying to have to go back and fix it. I'm like have not like who says have not but <laughs> but it did help with word count. Hack number three, take a few days off of work or school if you can. So I'm not telling you guys to skip school uh, or to call in sick when you aren't sick, but you know, you may, you know, your throat may be a little sore. You're just like, you just need to stay home and, you know, get those words in. I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying it, but I'm saying it, right? <laughs> Hack number four, cover up your word count. Uh, I found this really helpful for me last year because I tended to stop and look at what my word count was every 10 minutes or so and it just distracts you, it slows you down um, and it can kind of prevent you from getting just kind of spitting all the words out so um, even if it's just a little bit of paper at the corner of your laptop um, do that and uh, you know that might uh, work for you. Hack number five is to make your daily word count more than the 1667 words a day. So with this you can try to write 50,000 words in three weeks or three and a half weeks. And so if you want to divide the 50K between those three weeks or three and a half weeks and figure out how many words you need to write every day, this can really help you because you can finish early, you can finish before Thanksgiving, you know that you've got that buffer time in case you do need it, but it's gonna help you to like kind of, you know, aim higher, set your sights higher so that like if you need that little bit of buffer time, you do instead of like trying to hit the 1667 every day and just like barely making it by and then that last week you really need to scramble. So hack number six is to stop cleaning and cooking during the month of November. Um, and you want to set yourself up for success so we're not saying to starve yourself and to live <laughs> in a pile of filth, but um, Try to do deep cleaning before nano starts and uh, even some batch cooking, like you can make a bunch of, you know, big batch of soup and freeze the individual um, servings. So that way, um, you know, you don't even have to think about it uh, during NaNoWriMo. It'll cut into your writing time and it'll just tire you out more. So, you know, if you can, uh, delay some of those less important things, you know, don't suddenly decide you need to uh, dust all of the ceiling fans, um, you know, <laughs> during NaNoWriMo. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's good too because it helps you from being distracted by like, well, I need to clean this and I need to like cook this. Well, you already did it, so you have no excuses. <laughs> Hack number seven, 
stock up on necessities. So this is kind of in a similar vein to this last hack, but you want to make sure that like you've done all your grocery shopping, you've stocked up on toiletries, you've gotten the car fixed, done everything that you need to do, all of your chores so that again, you're not being distracted by all these extra things that you have to do and it's going to save time. Because there's some things, oh I need to get an oil change, you do that and then oh wait, they found something else that they need to fix and then that takes longer and then maybe you didn't bring your laptop and you're like, well now I can't write. So you know, you want to set yourself up for success by making sure that like everything is ready, you have everything that you need for your daily life so that you can focus on your regularly life. Hack number eight is to write the last chapter first. Now I haven't done this one yet, but um, I have heard that some people have found success in being motivated to get to that last chapter. So if you kind of start from the end, then you can have that clear goal, you know where you're working towards, it can motivate you even more to say, okay, let me just fill in the rest. Hack number nine, figure out how to best end your writing session. So this was actually a tip that I got when I was at the Seeker launch party for Kim Chance uh, a couple weeks ago. So sometimes when you're ending a writing session, you want to like finish the scene, but some people have found that it helps them the next day to pick back up in writing if they end mid-sentence or without finishing the scene because they kind of built up that momentum and they know where they were going. Now other people can't do that and they need to finish the scene, but one of the tips that also could help is if you finish that scene and then you start either the next scene or the next chapter, even if you're just writing like that first line, so that you kind of have a starting point and you kind of know where you were going and it will help you get back into the writing zone much faster. And lastly, hack number 10 is to hang out with your friends and family in October and save NaNoWriMo for your writing time. So we know it's really important to tell people who are close to you what you're going to be doing in November, how important it is to you, and that you're going to need a lot of time to write. It's not just an hour here and there. Um, so. My husband is used to, I've done NaNoWriMo the past few years, so he's kind of used to it now. Um, I have a feeling he kind of dreads November because he's like, oh yeah, we're not going to do anything together. Yeah, a lot of times people are like, all right, see you in December. But, um, and then on the flip side, once December comes, make sure then that you give that your family and friends kind of that extra attention to thank them for kind of leaving you alone um, during the month of November. And if you do have any activities that you have to do, you know, try to make it as efficient and quick as possible. Um, you know, sometimes there, you can't help it. There's, uh, you know, uh, your sister's baby is born or something like that. So obviously you can't ignore that, but um, you know, so, don't completely ignore the important events, but if you can, try to prioritize. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much, Heather, for collabing Thanks. with me again. It's been so much fun. I wish we could just have like a joint like twin channel. <laughs> yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> Remote like Skype videos all the time. I hope you found these NaNoWriMo hacks helpful. Please let us know in the comments down below if you'll be participating in NaNoWriMo and what your work in progress will be. Please give this video a big thumbs up and click subscribe to support my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hack number nine. <laughs> Where were you? I, I, I was you. distracted. I didn't Hack number nine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we can do this. Hack number nine is to figure out the best way to end your writing session, to set yourself up for- That's a long <laughs> Just like, my husband's trying to go.